Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, man, yes, thanks so sir. much for tapping in with the Humble Brag Experience. We're going to yes, give sir. you a great experience, as we always do. And look, I want to start by saying thank you so much for tapping in. Thank you so much for supporting. And please, please, please continue to share. Continue to tell a friend to tell a friend, like my boy Kedrick say. KD. To tell another friend. Also, tell them. And also, <laughs> I want to make sure that everybody that is watching, please continue to engage. I want to see what you're thinking. Leave a comment below, right? Ask a question, right? Anything that you do or say can be held against you. <laughs> nah, we're not gonna hold it against you. We're not gonna hold it against you. Yeah, but we, we, we do wanna <laughs> we do wanna engage with the audience though, man. It's, it's so fun. Nice. You know, as we're watching uh this at you know it's recorded, we like to go back and watch and we like to read the comments as people are engaging with you yeah. know what we're saying and what we're discussing. So there's gonna be some juicy stuff talked about today. And we really mm -hmm. wanna know what y'all think. You know what I mean? So <laughs> with that, let's get going. Yes, sir. What's happening, yes, sir. KD, JB? What's hey, I'm poppin'? good. Derm? Hey, hey, first thing hustle. first, though, I got to know what's in y'all cup, man. What y'all got going on? Hey, hey man. Before we get hey. into it, because we're going to get into it, what y'all got what you on up, What you on over hey, there, man. Hey, I'm on a little something light today, man. A little Josh uh, Chardonnay. You know, Josh is one of my one of my favorite brands. Good price, not too expensive, but but it got a great taste to it, man. So I switched it up. Got a little white wine today. Right there with you too. I'm on the white wine. Shout out to my boy Manny and uh, and Danny. His his wife Danielle. They they hooked me up with the Robert Mondavi Private Selection 2017. Ooh. For the you say, know hey, what I'm say, saying say for the Say that name again. Say that name you again. Know, Rob, Robert Mondavi, one of the best. Yeah. Uh, uh, coastal yeah. vineyards on the on the on the west coast, so in California, y'all y'all check them out. <laughs> that's hard. That, that's though. hard. I it's think dope. we featured some of the some of the Rob Mons on the other episodes as well. Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, we did. Yeah, yeah. So I'm on the Chardonnay. You know, still a little bit of daylight out, so you know I had to yeah, get the white wine today. Hey, so I I know I wasn't tripping bringing out bringing out the Chardonnay. <laughs> My God, a little bit. It's a little yes, bit. Sir. It's not about to go down. <laughs> but yeah. DB, what, what about you? you? Now listen, I was hoping you, I was hoping you would go next, Jeff, because I can't really pronounce mine. You know what I mean? But I know it's exclusive. You know what I mean? Hey, Woo. I wanna, I wanna shout out Kenny Owens, Ko, uh, mm -hmm. Dog Pound, brother, brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> Ko been locked in with the group since the jump, and always giving good feedback. Always kind of like put me on new things because he's well traveled. You know what I mean? Him and his wife. Yeah. So. Uh, Ko was like, "Yo, I want to send something to the group, and really, this is for all of us. But I'm gonna just, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drink it for all of us." <laughs> oh, okay? man. Whoa. 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 Hey, whoa. I don't know how you feel, crazy. bro. I don't That's know crazy how you... word. <laughs> okay. How you say that, Joe? I can't even see it, man. Red Schooner. Training Red three. Schooner, man. Red hey, Schooner. I can't, I, can't, three. I can't believe you popped that bottle without having us in. in without, in the without the crew. So, so he sent two bottles. I popped this one. <laughs> right, I popped this one, but mm -hmm. I got one that I did not pop. Yeah, we're gonna pop that one together. But again, I want to thank yeah. KO. Uh, this is yeah, the, I'm talking real. about top of the line, man. 4.0 or Shout better. Out. Um, I'm yeah. actually not sure what the rating is, but I know for, for a fact this is one of the best I ever had. So, yeah. thank you so much, like KO. It. Hey, big CHB shout out to KO, man. Yeah, yeah sir. Looking, my boy, yes, sir. Real. And, and I went complete opposite. I ain't go wine today, man. I'm on, I'm on a little <laughs> bit of early times, you know, like that's that's my go to, that's my go to bourbon. Look, yeah, early, early time, time. You know, I just got a little glass. Of you know what I'm saying? Just a just a little glass. Just sipping on a little hey, something. You know? He, he hey. kicking off the week right, you did. <laughs> a little a little early. Who? Monday's fun day. Hey, you, you hey, tell hey, tell him, Jeff. Hey. All work easy work, man. All work easy <laughs> work. You know? I, I yeah. learned from the best yeah. I learned from the best people in the group, you know. Work hey. hard, play hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what work what, what work you doing this week, man? You off. Hey. Hey, it's all good. Hey, hey enjoy don't talk about business, Germ. Germ, don't talk about business out there. Enjoy. That's crazy. It. Hey, man, so, hey, we can't, I can't uh, keep going on without realizing what my man Germ, Germ, what you got on hey. over there, man? Hey, what man, you know? hey, man. I, I got the little get up, you know what I mean? We throwing my it My boy that's 30 it. and don't know how to act. He still he's got the first day I'm still all. trying to stay fresh out here. He, he, he in the midlife crisis at 30. That man is still on the AI. Dude, oh, I don't know if it's AI, hot sauce, Nelly, who are you, bro? <laughs> hey, man, hey. you know them old heads, they be trying to keep up with, with the young folks, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm just trying to keep it fresh. 
Hey, just make sure when you take that do rag off, you got some ways, bro. For real. Yeah, yeah, y'all gonna see that later. <laughs> nah. <laughs> like, trust, what they say? What they say? Trust the process. You know. <laughs> trust the hey, process on listen. this. Listen, <laughs> Jerry, we got to drug test you, bro, because you got on a weight vest. Hey, man. Hey, this my, this my bu I'm bulletproof, man. I'm staying yeah. ready. I'm staying ready. Yeah, he ready. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, with, the, with the chain, with the chain tucked is crazy. What is going on? Chain What's tucked. Just like, it's about the details. Nah, it's about the details. They don't need to see all that. You know? <laughs> oh, oh my god! Camera get up, so man. we can see the weight vest in in its entirety. Could ask hey, crazy. Y'all, y'all see it a little bit, man. Vest <laughs> yeah, I got the weight vest on, man. I'm working out. You know, <laughs> I'm getting right. <laughs> Hey, no, we're going to oh, talk about this because right. somebody left this weight vest in my house, so I'm using it as a prop. Okay. <laughs> let's talk, yeah. let's, hey, let's talk about it. So, first of all, get right into it. Yeah. First of all, for all that don't know, Germ just turned 30, man. So, big everybody, the big 3 0 the big 3 0 big 30, my boy. Big hey, welcome 30, to the club, man. And he, and he threw a party that was epic. Loved it. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, Project club Germ. I, hey, the party was so lit. Afterwards, I said, Jern, you had a Diddy party. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> hey, man. Wait, 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 wait. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, man. We don't know hey, nothing about the Hey, drink to that, That did not happen at, 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 at our party. TV, get up. <laughs> but nah, it, it was, a, man, it was one, that was one of the best, best weekends, man. Everybody uh, came out celebrating the 30. You see on the back, got like a, you know, a little uh, poster that they made for me. Um, shout out baby girl, shout out Ayana. Um, they helped with, with, with decorations and everything, man. Really put I didn't really want to do that much this year. But yeah, you know, we put together a little something, wanted to throw it back, you know, keep it fresh, love to bring around our friends. I th I think us as a group, we throw some of the best parties just because of our energy, man. So yeah, you know, if y'all y'all tap in Unmatched. on this, you know, we ha we have a really good time. Yeah. So we might be doing some some more things in the future too. So I got yeah, I got Halloween on. this year on the plate, man. We're gonna we're gonna do it up. Okay. <laughs> you know yep, what? Yep. I like I like the sound of that. The humble brag experience party, man. THB yes, party. Sir. Yes, I sir. Like that. Hey, I love that. Hey, Jern. Yep. That was one heck of a party, dog. Yeah, hey, bro. Hey, so, the link up. Crazy. Jerm had a, a 2000s party. Everybody kind of do a, th a throwback, right? Mm -hmm. He was sending out information leading up to the party, and I don't do a good job of keeping up with, like, emails and all that. So, <laughs> fortunately, fortunately, Wifey was involved, included. And she was like, yeah, this is the this is the curriculum. This is this is the itinerary. This is what you need to wear. I'm like, I'm like all right, whatever. But, yeah. hey, I'm going to tell you something. I'm a, I want y'all to tell it because I don't want to like you know too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> I put it together, hey, man. I, I, hey, I showed up hey. as a lot of training day. We gotta you give know? him his flowers. Bro, I gotta got, give him his flowers. I must say, I must say so, hold on, so, hold on, just so, hold on, like Denzel. Hold on, hold on, on that. So. So what Charles was referring to, everybody had to dress up. That was the entry to get into the party. You had to dress up at least as something from the 2000s or whatever. And uh, we also mentioned that we was going to have a little prize for the best dress. And mm -hmm. so everybody did come correct. I will, I'm not going to give everybody their props. Everybody came correct, you know. Um, but for the best dress, <laughs> yeah, I think hey. I think Charles stole the show. Yeah, hey, see, see, we definitely took the show, man. I, I'm telling you, bro, it's, it's always good energy. When you come around a group and, you, and your stomach hurt from laughing when you leave, you know what I mean. <laughs> my, and that, my head, bro, my head was hurting from that, laughing. That's what I'm stomach saying. It's all, always my good vibes, hurting. man. And this man Charles had me weak the whole entire so, time. So hopefully we can throw a little <laughs> clip in there. But Charles came as Denzel yeah. from Training Day, man. They look just alike. I just mean, like the, just the alike. big stash. They look just, just like. like you know the cigarette. I, I, I was I was close second. I was close second. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I might would have gave you second. Chuck. Close second. I, I might would have gave you second. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah he had the fifty cent. 
he had the 50 cent, you know, I, hey, I think, I think, we didn't know why the belt I buckle was unbuckled, but you know. <laughs> the John Rubin line threw people off, bro. I think that's why they didn't vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, can't be talking oh, bad boy. about John Rubin, man. And 50, you know, get off that. Actually, actually, I don't want no smoke with 50. No smoke. We don't want to be on that type of time. No Man. smoke with him. Hey, that boy Jeff had a belt on, Gucci belt. So I look at him and I say, hey, I say, Jeff, why your belt unbuckled? And before he could even answer, I realized it wouldn't fit. <laughs> but you got to realize, though, I have some really big baggy jeans. I did have Man, a sag a little bit. Those jeans fit, though. They fit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were comfortable. That fit. Hey, they were comfortable. Nah. They were comfortable. Yeah, that's actually a, it's a style that's coming back though. I it's bought a style my that's jeans back. from For Urban real. Outfitters. I bought mine from Urban Outfitters. Yeah. Them, them big jeans I had, you know, <laughs> it had like a it had like a drawstring in it, like built inside of it. No, so I, I'm not gonna lie, I was comfortable, very comfortable. It's just I had them sagging a little bit, so they're kind of like on my hip because that's how they were back. That's how they did it in the 2000s, but. The belt was yeah. not buckling. I tried to buckle it, and boy, I got buckled. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, if I'd have came in there buckling, y'all would like, JB, stop it. Just stop. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nah, you know, we talk about fashion all the time. Really, that oversized, like, oversized T-shirts, big jeans, you know, mm -hmm. like, with the, uh, the bell bottom, you know, that's really, that's coming back, bro. Everything that, yeah. there's nothing new. Everything that we doing now, we was doing back then. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, what we were, with the exception of training day, all of that stuff was kind of like it was. Kinda well, I, I promise, you, I promise you kinda, this much: yeah. baggy suits will not be coming back. It was at least not in my wardrobe. <laughs> that kind of oh, stay hey, like, hey, well, you had bringing a couple, those back. You had a couple of ten man suit, and you didn't, and you didn't have any. <laughs> yeah, I ain't need no. Uh, I don't know what I, that. I, I know you, 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 you were too fresh and fly for suits. You know what I'm saying? I, I see, used to, go on my, see used to go on my closet and steal my suit, so I don't know, like... <laughs> hey, it's crazy. crazy. JB, I don't know what they call that piece of candy, but it's like a white piece of candy with the black line. It's the cow stick. The cow stick. Cow, the no, cow stick. Oh, yeah, yeah, cow stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JB got a suit just like that. <laughs> yeah, so I do. Hey, we need that picture. I do. No, we don't. We to, oh, I got it. I got picture. it in my phone. Hey, I no, we you. don't. I, I want to I want to pivot or kind of go back to what we were talking about. He's like not having smoke with uh with Fifty Cent. Speaking yeah. of smoke right now in hip hop, mm -hmm. on, we I'm gotta talk crazy. about it. It's the hottest thing right now. Like yeah, J Cole, K Dot, Drizzy. Yeah. Man, you know where I, you know where I stand. Jeez. Where do you stand? Yeah. Cold. Where do you stand? Let's get into it. Where do hey. you stand at, man? Hey, hey, it's a, it's a cold it's a cold world. Hey, it's cold <laughs> world out here. I love Cole. Now Cole did piss me off yesterday though. I, I whenever that time. It, with the apology, days ago, right? With the apology, bro. Don't be apologizing. Yeah, apology. I, 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 I wasn't with <laughs> Listen, that. Listen, he told him it really hurt my heart when I wrote the words. Write some words. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Put it out there. Yeah, no, write them. You know what I'm nah. saying? And, and, then, and then you publish it. It is what it is. I'm not ain't nobody trying to hear. It. No, he came with you first, and he really yeah, didn't come. A, that, he really didn't come. I, I mean, that, yeah, yeah he that, that was a real sap like move. That. that was a real sap. I disagree. I, I disagree I want, on I want something. To know, I want to know Jern's opinion because Jern really, uh, you know. He's he's a historian of the of the music nah, of the beef of the beef. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> of the beef. yeah, not allegedly they said that Kendrick it was a rumor he was supposed to be on first person shooter. That's allegedly mm. that's what I heard. Oh. See? But we don't know. We don't know that's allegedly. But he None wasn't on there. So if you look if you listen to that first person shooter, you know, it kinda sounds like they just mentioning things that's kinda directing him, whatever, whatever. And then so Kendrick comes out with uh with his record um, on Metro Boomin's album. So that way everybody knows what's going on on Metro Boomin's album. Um, that where he says there's no big three, it's just big me. And then so. We don't ma trust you. We don't trust <laughs> The majority of that, of that verse though, it was more towards Drake. So we really waiting on Drake, but Cole was kind of in the crossfire of all of that. Mm -hmm. And then Cole just had his album that just dropped, Mike Delete later, which is actually pretty cold. The whole album is like dope, like straight bro, bars. Bro, oh, not I listen, the whole, I listen the whole to it We can't I let that go right today. here. Didn't skip a song, bro. This is the this is the first time. This is the first time you heard the album. No, I mean I listened to a couple <laughs> songs, but I like let it play through its entirety today, bro. It's fire. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, watched the first yeah. time listening to the whole album in its entirety. Chill, bro. Chill, <laughs> chill. Come on, just listen to it at 12 a.m. when it dropped. 
Fact, the whole thing. I said, yeah, this is it. Why did you listen yeah. to it, though? Who put you on? Who put me on the... Okay. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Okay. Oh, he put me on. I love oh, that guy. Hey, shout out to him, dude. That's some good videos. Cam anyway, Edwards. Cam Edwards. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great videos, bro. Um, <laughs> no. CB, okay, let me tell you what CB's talking about. CB sent it to the group message like, yo, code just dropped. Now, I just woke up, bro. Mind <laughs> you. Like I said last episode, <laughs> send help. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need some sleep, too. So I woke up. I saw the message. I'm like, oh, yeah, it did drop. Boom. I started yeah. listening. But who put you on J. Cole in its entirety, as Kedrick say? So I've been using Tardy three like times. That? Yeah. I was at that time. At that time, I was listening he was to New young, Carolina. No, New Carolina. I was yeah. listening to yeah. Young Dolph. I was listening to uh, Starlito, Don Trip. You know, Don so I was Trip. On, yeah, Don Trip. I, was I remember on some that. Music when you was. <laughs> I was on some hood music Salem. when you was on that Fed Nam stuff, bro. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Hey, Friday, man, night lights, with... Friday Night Lights sold me on cold, but I'll I tell you how I feel about this whole beef thing. One, I think it's uh, uh, it's just a ploy to make more money for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. Like, and, you know, and I think that's how most beef is with the exception of 50 and Ja Rule. Like, 50 really put Ja Rule in the, in the grave with the music <laughs> stuff, yeah. but... Um, he do it to everybody. He do it to everybody, though. Look at it this way. <laughs> K-Dot and, um, and Cole both come out on top for real in this situation. For sure. Financially. Yeah, but yeah. I'm probably on the side where I respect J. Cole for what he said at Dreamville. I'm like, I, too, yeah. Yeah. I get it, bro. Like, he said, because he was saying, like, he went back to what, how he was 10 years ago. He went back to, like, childish, you know, going mm -hmm. off your emotions, like, you know, snapping yeah. on. And then somebody that he probably looked up to his entire life. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of that's kind of like, well, that's yeah, kind of like well, LeBron he... James. What? Nah, he ain't look, he ain't been he looking look up to him in his He's been looking let's at his kids. Let's not do that. Let's, let's not, not do Cole let's, like let's that, man. No, no, no. Hold on, he said that they're at the, at the they're peers in Their peers in the game. And I think CB used work. a different word. He, he no, 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 no. If you listen to 7-Minute Drill, Cole said he Kendrick hit his, his peak quicker, sooner. So you got to imagine. Yeah but, like, yeah, but they came in at the same time, though. That's whatever, what bro. Whatever, bro. You just want to argue. <laughs> you just want to argue. Listen. Okay. Okay. For example, I'm going to throw something out there like, I'm trying to think of like a basketball reference. Or maybe, I don't know. I, I don't want to lose you because you, you, everybody ain't hip on sports. All I'm saying is. Okay. You go, and go, I go, go, go LeBron and Carmelo. like KD. LeBron Probably and Carmelo like Anthony or KD. They came oh, in. Yeah. LeBron and, yeah, LeBron, LeBron and, LeBron LeBron and, and Carmelo Anthony. 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 They yeah, came LeBron in together. Yes. They came in together. Mm -hmm. LeBron hit higher heights than than Carmelo. LeBron right. came straight out of high school. So Carmelo is probably thinking, I mean, might he a young dude, LeBron is to Carmelo. But when you talk about like like peak of, you know, their performance. Hold on, hold yeah. on. So so are you saying though, are you saying that Carmelo looked up to LeBron when they came out at the same time? They've been looking See, up that's why I knew nah, I nah, 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 road, bro. No, it's, it's, it's like nah, this. Nah, it's like this. Cole Cole knew that hey I'm here with him. But right now his accolades that that Kendrick, that's the same thing that Carmelo feel. Carmelo like ain't nobody better than me. Absolutely. But, yeah. But okay. he's like he sees LeBron just in the right Situation. You just use the wrong and, words, bro. Use the wrong hey, words. So yeah, he, he you said, did that. You <laughs> listen. Let me talk. I, the the wine is good. The wine good. My thoughts not coming through clearly. Listen. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is this. In the in the speech that J Cole gave, he said, "I respect him. I've been respecting him for a long time. I respect his music. I respect his craft and creativity. Sure. Right. So for somebody that you respect to like." you know, snap back off of one track where, it, you know, you get subliminals. He wasn't even directly talking about you. You know what I'm saying? And then now you kind of throwing away that entire, like, you know, the respect that you have for that person. And he wanted to just apologize. But I think more important for J. Cole, it was a spiritual thing. Like he said, he was like, yeah. bro, I'm, I'm at another level, dog. Like, I'm not on this, you know, beef and stuff and trying to, you know, demoralize or like, you know, make demean someone else. To make myself look better, like we all know that that's childish for real. So I, for I, sure. I give, yeah, yeah, I give uh, J Cole big yeah. props. Yeah, yeah, because so before that was before what I, I felt. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Keisha, Go ahead. Keisha. Yeah, before I lose thought, y'all know I'm not really like big into like the rap beef and all this. But I, since we've been talking about this, I have been like listening to the songs and stuff. I think, I think when it comes down to it, you got three great artists. You know what I mean? Trying to like, trying to promote, trying to 
create an image of themselves and just trying to say like, yo, like I need to be talked about being the best rapper. You know what I mean? Like we all went outside and played basketball. We, we gonna be like, yo, I'm the best basketball player out here. And you gonna talk Who? junk? You Who? gonna talk? To... Listen, I'm just using it as a reference. But Kendrick, you, that's a, a bad reference because you know you I know, cannot. I should have said, said track, bro. You should have said track or track. football. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Track. I'm the football. fastest Stay one football. out here. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, like I said, I, I just think it was uh really all for all for for the hype at the moment. I think uh, both both tracks are bangers. I listen to both of them without even analyzing the beef. You know what I mean? Like so. I think, I mean, they, they gave the fans what they wanted. I mean, at the end of the day, like, that's that's what it's about in this game. So, I mean, I understand. Yeah. I respect J. Cole for, for the whole apology. But at the end of the day, like, he gave his fans what he wanted. Like, he, he clapped back on something that clapped at him. So, at the end of the day, it's like, it is what it is. So, I mean, it's out there. He can't take it back. So, he might as well just, I, I just roll with it. You know what I mean? Thing too. Too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go ahead, John. What yeah. you about to say, John? For real. Yeah, my thing, I got a few things on it. So, one... I think that competition, this is one of the things I was going to kind of bring up last week was about like competition and, and knowing that sometimes you do need that competition. Yeah. Like healthy levels of competition is good because it can bring the best out of somebody. It can bring the best out. Like even for us, like we challenge each other. Like you need competition. You need, you need to see your boys. If you're like the best person in your group, <laughs> like that's not going to help you grow. Like you, if you're around your, if you're around your like friends that's actually doing more things that's going to elevate you. And then yeah, true, true. when you're in your own lane, when you're in your own lane and you have somebody else that's doing their thing too, you can respect them, but also you want to challenge them to see, all right, let me see how much better that you can be. So I like how J. Cole and Drake and, and uh, Kendrick and Drake, they've had that going on for some time. Now it's a little bit more direct. Um, so I like that. But so the rap fan in me, I was like, yeah, I want to see them like go back and forth. But when when Cole came out with the seven minute drill, the things that he was saying in it, I was like, that ain't really your energy like that. Or that that shouldn't necessarily be his energy. That was just a little bit off of me when I when I when I heard it's and diss, analyzed though. the list. It's a diss though. This I diss. know, I know. But but like yeah. he he's like this or like he he's gotten busy on tracks where he's like really bodying people lyrically. He could have done that. I don't think the way that he went at it, like going at Kendrick's he, work, things like that, you know, I didn't, for me, I didn't feel like that was the right approach. I think he yeah. could have came with a, a diss track, you know, just not necessarily in that way. So but, that but was my think, thing. But if you think about the diss track itself, though, he was being friend is a friendly diss track. And it was yeah. a warning. Like he said, it's a True. warning shot. He talked True. about he, he he talked about what people have been saying this whole time about Kendrick's last few albums and stuff but like we already knew that like yeah it, yeah 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 we like mad, we city, mad city was True. mad city was by far the craziest album i think i've ever heard like in the in a yeah. whole body of work like that was yeah. so good bro like that was, that i was say to, to pimp a butterfly i know what cole said about that yeah we kind of what I, what that was the second album right to pimp a butterfly uh yeah, that was second the second or third. One. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah that was the second one. one. He did say they like people fell asleep. He's like people fell asleep on that, but they gassed it. But but you gotta think about at that time. <laughs> That's crazy. When that, when that album came out, it was a lot of stuff going but I understand on. Understand so that, Kendrick, but they but, but he's saying they yeah. gassed it because of all that stuff that was going on, which is true. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. well, yeah. I mean, think about yeah, this. No comment he on was that. One of the only few rappers that was kind of rapping about it, which is good for him. But it, mm -hmm. it came at the perfect moment. To be guessed, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. I, I get it. I think, you know, what I mean, I like, still, I, I think it's still timeless too. But it is. Uh, but the the last thing I say on it, last thing I say, that I'll let you go, Charles. But uh, I'll say that the overarching part about it, what I respect about Cole, because the rap fan in me is like, yeah, I want to see people go at it. But like the human part of it, and us is just like, yeah, black yeah. men, like we don't have the. Pride gets into it. What's his song? Pride is the devil. Yeah, he's got to hold on me. Like, hold like, on me. You know what I mean? We let yeah. that get into that's it real, so much. And we real, hear, we hear everybody else's opinions. And then we allow that to kind of move us in what we do. You know, sometimes it's just a matter of communicating with your boy. Like, man, like, man, man, this ain't even about that. You know what I mean? Like, okay, okay, okay that's, 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 that's a big part. Once you, that's once you part. put it out, it's out there, bro. So it's out there. Yeah. Kendrick true, came true, with, true. The, with the track. So it's like, what are you, what am I gonna do? Sit back and not say nothing, or you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like, exactly. Once exactly, it's out there, exactly. it's out there, bro. It ain't no taking so, it back. So, so. so I do have a question. Exactly. I do have a question. It's for anybody can ask. When Kendrick drops his next track, 
<laughs> and if it and if it comes at J. Cole, then what? The next step? Then what? Then what? He said he got taken on the chin. <laughs> See? Hey, he no. said he got to take Hey no. man. He's, that's no. what Cole said. That's he said what he, he got said, taken. Yeah. He gotta yeah. take his lumps. He gotta but take his lumps. It depends on how deep it cuts. If it cuts yeah. deep enough, he yeah. got his I gotta come at him. Kendra so the, one shot, the one the one the shot didn't warn him away. He got he got he got him go crazy. <laughs> So, 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 what's, have to come so back. what's Drake? So what's Drake gonna do next? You think? Uh, he, uh, he he's hitting up the Ghost Riders. The right, right, <laughs> right. Nah, nah, you know what though? In the studio. I think, and I love Drake. I think the the immaturity in us wants to see responses. The immaturity in yeah. us wants to see like the fighting. But Bro, I'm not even gonna say. Time, I'm not even gonna say immaturity. I don't like the fact that you use that word immaturity because it's the that's, sport of rap. That's just rap, bro. That's rap. <laughs> nah, nah. Listen. Remember when Tupac used to make diss tracks about his ops? But we see how that can spill over. over. No, you shouldn't have used Tupac, but you see how that can spill over. Like, use that as an example, but it's not. Yeah, but that's a setup, that we, though. That's that a we setup. want that. It's just yo, we fans. We we J Cole Allegedly. fans. Like yo, we want to. Did, hear did he do it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, but the oh, thing, okay. So two points. One, uh, I think that is it shows real growth by not responding. And sometimes, you know, I think about like in arguments, right? Or you know this back and forth Twitter beef or whatever it might be. Sometimes the person who doesn't respond is the bigger person. And that's the person who doesn't make themselves look like a fool. You feel that's me? different though. <laughs> hey, Jeff, this is rap. Hey, hey Jeff, let's see if let, let's go. Let's see if go. My yeah, yeah. this is rap though. Listen, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be the first person to tune in when I, when they drop. So I <laughs> want to hear it. That's all I wanted to hear. That's all I wanted to hear. I'm going to listen, but look, I'm going to take another, I'm going to take another angle on this thing. Cause I'm sure y'all probably seen it, but nobody really talking about it. You think about every celebrity who's ever made a comment about like LGBTQ, T, T Q. Anybody who's ever made these, com anybody who's ma made any type of like derogatory comments about, you know, specifically that that group, has always been canceled or had to like come back and really apologize, right? Yeah. As soon as J, J. Cole dropped this thing, everybody was talking about his response to K Kendrick and like you know they're talking about. The rap beef, but then later on they start releasing. They start talking about he mentioned uh, like you know uh, some transsex transsexual type comments in his rap, and then you know Kendrick mm. came out about his uncle being his aunt situation. So that's mm. what J Cole was like under underlying message about Kendrick, mm. right? Hey, that's that's what he said. He said well, well, he no, said no, 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 no. That wasn't no. That I know what you're talking about. That that wasn't in Seven Minute Drill though. That was in a different totally. No, no, it song. was in a different song, but on the same album though. Yeah, on the same album. It was it's on the album. Song, but it wasn't. I don't, think, I don't think I, he was coming at Kendrick for that, but but not. Nah, well, that's he that's somebody. how I interpret it because he, he said some other things proceed, throughout bro. the album. Like Seven Minute Drill was the only time he addressed Kendrick. It was some other things that he said that could have easily been to geared towards Kendrick. Whether it was or not, he said some comments that people took as like offensive, right? And then next mm. thing you know, he's coming out with this apology to Kendrick. I'm thinking. I don't know, but as as much sc scandalous stuff going on in you know Hollywood and stuff like that, you gotta protect your image. Protect your image, yeah, to, yeah. You know what you say about certain people, that can mm -hmm. have a big part in, in this quick this quick apology. I mean, he just dropped it. All of a sudden, you got to change your heart. This, well, well I, mm -hmm. but I think he's on the live stage and he he wanted yeah, to get it out there because he, he yeah he was feeling yeah. He, 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 what he said what he said during Dreamville though what he said during Dreamville is that. He saw the responses and he felt he just felt bad about it. The whole situation in but, general. But what? If, but what if the responses was promoting his song? What if the responses was like, "Oh, J Cole body this," or "J Cole better than Kendrick"? What if the responses was more that than the negativity that he? Got? He still would he well, still I, have apologized? I, I, well, I, I think, think so. Well, I think the negativity, mm. the negative backlash, wasn't as bad as the positive. Accommodation that oh yeah you you came back and you kind of wanted to be because yeah like we said Kendrick said it was one still line. up in the air <clears throat> yeah it's up in the air but Kendrick really said one line that could be interpreted towards J Cole he really came yeah. at he came at Drake for real like yeah. Pet Cemetery yeah. and all that stuff like he kinda went, he hey then he said something about the forty water too Prince, Prince outlived Mike Jack like bro yeah. that's a lot hey that of, was hard that was <laughs> what hard. does that mean. Yeah. Like people think Mike like, Jackson. Like, yeah, yeah, no, what does that mean? What does that mean? So okay, in first in first person I, shooter mode, right? In in, in, mm -hmm. in that song, Drake said uh, he's one away from Michael, and he's like beat it. 
beat it, right? Like all that stuff, yeah. right? Like he kind of said those words. Beat, what, beat. what the, the one away that he was talking about though is Grammys top song number one on the Billboard. Yeah. Uh, so Billboard. that's what the reference was to, like, because Michael Jackson has the longest. He has the number. He has the most number one hits on Billboard, Billboard right? Yeah. Okay. So Drake said, "I'm I'm one away from Michael." Beat it, right? That was yeah, kind of like yeah. the song. That's kind of like the reference he did. So okay, you fast forward. K Dot was like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. but Prince outlived Mike Jack." So because everybody loved Prince, and er- everybody yeah, feel yeah. like Prince and Michael Jackson obviously the top two in pop. Yeah, but right? people always whatever put category Michael Jackson you want to put them in. One. Yeah, because they they touch they a lot of they, they even thought they had beef. People thought they had beef. Right, for a long time. but he said mm-hmm. Prince outlived Mike Jack. Basically saying like, you know, he, he, in his eyes, he, he pre- saying he Prince pre- was he better pre- than Mike Jack. Drake, Drake gave the reference to is M- is K is K dot saying that he about to kill Drake off? Is that what he trying to say? <laughs> no. Hey man, we ain't saying all that. <laughs> we ain't saying all that. <laughs> no, that's that's conspiracy. Charles talking right now. I don't know nothing hey. about that. Nah, that, that's my only thing. That's my only thing. It's just like just for our audience, we are all for the rap, like. I'm I'm yeah. really like hip hop, like I, I really love. Yeah, we're gonna embrace it. We're gonna yeah, embrace it. Bro, bro, we but when it, it spills bro, over good. outside of the thing, that's the thing. And I think I think Jeff, what you uh, or CB, what you were talking about, I think that might have been too. It probably was some phone calls made. To oh, code. for sure. And you know, because I mean, you okay, know how those not, things can easily, those things can easily. It, it don't even have to be the artist. It could be they people that's around them. That's just yeah. like, wait a minute, hold on, you talking crazy? Just in crazy. the spirit of hip hop, like y'all remember Fifty Cent and Kanye, they ain't have no beef, yeah. bro. But, yeah, yeah. but like CB said though, they both came out winners at the very end yeah, of that. Yeah, and Fifty mm-hmm. was like, "I'm gonna beat Kanye's record." And at the time, Fifty Cent was I felt was the booming, the, the booming. I felt, I felt like he was, was the him. hottest. So he had an era that is unmatched. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says. He really did. I mean, with all the songs he dropped. Now Kanye was coming up and he was dropping some bangers too. But you know that was that was a good beef. They kind of came at each other. They said whatever they said, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But. Yeah, they ain't yeah. got no problems with each other. Like, That's I what it should Cole be like. Just saying, like I really, I really think, like he, he said, we big three. We the big three. He yeah. and, 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 like, and like I yeah. said, bro, it all boils down to, bro. We we all feel like we the greatest. And when you, if I, if yeah. I say I'm better than you, Jeff, no matter we cool or not, you are gonna be like, nah, I'm better than you. Prove it. I'm yeah, exactly. Prove, so at the pr- end of the day, it. like it, it's just it's just a man trying to be be at the top. You know what I mean? Drake, That's, Kendrick, J Cole, yeah. they all three gonna go down as legends so who gonna who gonna be the better legend the only person that can Facts. define that is them so yeah, but i will say I, so go ahead, Charles, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say that's well said but if you want to you want to say one more thing about it because i want to talk about something else yeah yeah just one more thing you know what's crazy <laughs> about the whole situation what's crazy what's crazy about what's crazy about this whole situation is the line that j cole said in in, in the song that that uh k dot brought up was literally um, I feel like with a big three, he said K Dot, Aubrey, and me. So he Aubrey, obviously Drake is Aubrey or whatever. But mm-hmm. he put K Dot first in that, and K Dot still replied and came back at him, mm-hmm. bro. Like that's why See, I mean, that, that's what I'm like, saying. I don't, I don't I just think, think he wanted to be on that time. Like, I don't think first person shooter mode was enough ammo for for him to fire back. So I feel like he kind of just yeah. sparked that match himself because it really wasn't. Because I didn't feel. No moments in that song where they were dissing Kendrick. They were like, "Yo, it's us." Yeah, but yeah, but you, but, but, you got, yeah. but you got know the, you got know the history. Future and um, Metro don't like Drake, and so because like mm. like like Germ oh, said, okay. like Germ it's said, underlines though. <laughs> he got he got J Cole got caught in a crossfire, bro. Oh, yeah, he got caught like in a crossfire. That's what I'm nah, saying. Not that's new. More. That's it's new. Some underlying, it's some underlying. It's some underlying things. Well, you gotta understand. But, Metro Metro is Future's right hand man, and so Metro don't like Drake. Right, but that's but like if Future I don't like somebody, Drake, you better not like me. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I don't like somebody, you better not like me. Though we got issues. I got hey, issues hey, with that. Hey, I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. You know what's crazy? With that point, that's crazy. You know what's crazy? I'm with that. I sent y'all an album this morning, and one of her. Okay. Go glow. I sent. I sent the boys. I sent the group chat. Glorilla's latest album, and he said, and he said, this this actually slides. This slide. <laughs> hey, this I, turned, I turned it back to J. Cole after three yeah. songs. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I, man. I, I, did actually, like, I did listen to the Go Glow. That's my when song. When you're working bro. out. Like when you're working out, it's actually it's, a good yeah, little vibe. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It's it was lies. actually a good little vibe. She's good, bro. 
Shout anyway, she, she, she mentioned in one of her songs, if, if my friend ain't messing with you, I ain't messing with you. And if you messing with the ops, <laughs> if you messing with my ops, then I'm not messing with you. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so I'm the same way. Ain't do it. Because you, well, you can't play both sides, bro. Like, okay, that's like, that. that's in, that's in personal, that's in personal, like, real life situation. And that's also in, like, business situations, too. Like, bro, you... If you if you ever talk to another company, you work for their competitor, but they're not going they're not going for that, bro. Mm-hmm. It's the they same thing. They don't trust you. Yeah. You can't yeah. you can't even be associated. You, we don't trust you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You you can do it, but don't get found out. <laughs> hey, 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 hey I, I know one of my hey. friends. One of my friends. He was working with this. He was working for this guy, right? And he was looking for like other work <laughs> while he was. <laughs> Why he was looking for other work? Hey, hey, he boy, sent, no he elbows, his, but... <laughs> bro, he sent his resume and I think maybe even a job application to his current boss. And I was like, like, bro, how you do that? <laughs> hey, bro, that was crazy work. That's wild. <laughs> okay, hey, wild. two so weeks we've later, we've seen that happen. <laughs> nah, two, two same, hours. No, same two hours day. later. <laughs> same a meeting day. with HR. A meeting with HR. No, hey, they skipped the nah, HR nah, part. Nah, not HR. Meet with the boss. <laughs> <laughs> so I seen you send me this email. You're fired. I said, me? You're fired? You gonna come at me like that? <laughs> hey, I didn't say who that. Hey, who that hey, happened that's to? That's a good story, bro. That's a good story. Jerm, you said what, Jerm? Who that happened to? You looking at him? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, oh, a whole a different story. conversation though about careers and everything. Facts. Like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'd have been through. I'd have been through it all, bro. <laughs> it's good though I'm, when you have. You know, in your career, if you have managers that actually want you to actively to promote, see yeah, where you want to go, you know, and they support you in what you're trying to do, you know, that's really big. So that's a whole nother conversation, man. That's a whole I thought we got the rumble across the table, bro. I'm not that type of guy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, listen, man. it was it's two things that I that I wanted to talk about. So I'm gonna let y'all choose which way y'all want to go. Okay. <laughs> we could talk. We could talk about Diddy and Meek. Mm. Well, we can talk about Iowa, Caitlin Clark, and South Carolina, man. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Give Iowa. love to the ladies, man. Let's, let's go. Give Iowa. love to the ladies. Let's, let's go. Iowa. <laughs> let's one, go. Iowa. One. Caitlin Clark is a dog. She dog. she shoot from half court, pull up, fade away, <laughs> like 18, 18, po- eighteen points in the first quarter. Yeah, yeah. Eighteen she's tough. in the first quarter. She like that. She's tough. She like that. Yeah. But like that. more importantly, them South Carolina girls, they don't play games, man. 38 and 0. 38 and 0. They are yeah, 100 listen. they are 103 and 3. They've only lost 3 but, games in over 106 games, bro. But you, you know what I loved about like you know what I loved about like all that like about them accomplishing that. They didn't accomplish it last year. They lost in the finals they last year. To Iowa, year. right? I lo- no, 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 to LSU. Watch to LSU, LSU. Watch. sorry. Come on, no. watch for it. No, no. no. <laughs> they, they lost they to lost Iowa, Iowa. Final yeah. four. Yeah. Final final four. Four. Yeah, yeah. LSU, LSU I mean, beat Iowa last year. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm talking. Remember, about, Angel Reese was about, doing no, this. No, no. I'm talking about South Carolina though. South Carolina. Yeah, South last Carolina year. lost to Iowa in the final four. Yeah. Yeah. And then Iowa lost to LSU in the championship. Yeah. Remember yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah. Remember this? That was Angel Reese doing that to Caitlin. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch more sports. My bad. My bad, Keith. <laughs> God, leave. You good, Chad? It's a blur. It's hey, a blur right now, bro. <laughs> Thank you. But anyway, nah. anyway, they they made it back though. Is what I'm trying to say, and they yeah, they bro. won it. And I was listening to the coach talk. Like, first of all, she gave she gave praise to the uh, you Almighty know our God, sir. right? Yes, like, sir. And she, you yes, know, sir. and she was like, that was she's like, he can make things happen that you really don't know it's gonna happen. I love that for one. So I just want to call that out because I I love that when I saw it. And then I wa- I was watching the whole post game, and they. <laughs> People were tripping because they like, why they keep showing Caitlin Clark? I'm like, they showing her because she just had she. First of all, she put women's basketball on her back. She did. Out of all the out of all the people that we've seen <laughs> come through, that's been great. I mean, that's so many great players yeah. on like that that we all know that play women's basketball. She's been the one that like really excelled the sport. Yeah, just I agree. Based on, man. She, I agree. She she's the women's Steph Curry, and I feel like Steph Curry has excelled the NBA. Like he's changed it, right? Like you think about it, ain't nobody really think about shooting threes. It's like getting when we grew up. It was like getting the paint anywhere around this art. Let's make these you know mid range shots, whatever. Steph changed the whole game. Where now yeah. you go to any rec league, you can see every kid trying to shoot from the three point line and beyond, yeah. right? Like 
that's the new thing. So I think like with Caitlin, she basically showed like, okay, this time I'm gonna play the game. She went to Iowa, which was like not even a, a good school at the time. Then yeah. this year she beat LS. I mean, she beat um she beat LSU who, who beat her last year. She also went went through and beat UConn where she wanted to go to school at. That's amazing, yeah. bro. And then yeah. get recruited. That's a story. But I love that, bro. Like that's Pet that's all. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now a couple things though. Big. One, I do think. Yeah, she changed the game and she deserves her flowers. But in that moment where South Carolina just won the championship, they should be the only ones highlighted in that moment. Even though she changed the sport, I don't like how I don't like how the camera, even like at the end, it did pan to her though when she was walking the, out. Yeah, the camera is on her, like not on all of the five or seven girls that had a big impact in South Carolina's you know thirty eight game season national championship. So I, I don't I don't like what media did with that. I understand why, but at the same time, you know I think about some female players that played before. Y'all remember Ivory Latta from North Carolina? Oh, yeah. Carolina. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Carolina Cole. Cole. It's been, Cole. it's been, now mind you, her style of play is different. I mean, Ken, she's, Ken Parker, like, bro, you can go down the line. But, mm-hmm. Jeff, you hit a big point because I, I actually was watching the UConn's, uh, like, assistant coach or something talking about one of their players who's not a star player, but he's like, he's NBA bound. He said the reason why he's, he can't show his bag is because the team that he's on is so loaded that he it, in that system he doesn't get that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. His girl players the same way. Like she went to Iowa. You think if some like the the guard for South Carolina, if she was at Iowa or a, a small a school with not as much talent, go crazy. She's gonna be showcased at a higher level. She's gonna score more. She's gonna be the person. So it's really about you know we could we could apply mm-hmm. this to our own lives. It's, all, it's really about being in a system <laughs> and being in the system at the right time. It all depends on the system that you in, right? If you're not in the right system, it ain't gonna fit you. And that we saw that in football too, right? It's like if you're in the right system that's benefiting you, you're not going to shine. I mean, which is crazy. Um, and I think about that with my son. I'm like, and, and I'm thinking, I'm also thinking about that with Carter. Cause that's my, that's my, I'm on. So, mm-hmm. you know, whatever system they go to, we going to make sure that it fits both of them. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's the biggest thing is like, bro, like there's no way, like if Caitlin Clark would have went to UConn, which is where she wanted to go. And that's, that's her dream school. Will she be Caitlin Clark? Like, I mean, I mean, obviously, like, yeah, we know it's her name, but I'm saying, like, will she be the Caitlin Clark that we know today? Probably, probably not. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. Because, like yeah. you said, if you watch the South Carolina game, who's the star player? The the uh, uh, what's her name? Camilla, right? You gotta you gotta feed it down to her because she's six eight feed her. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. like she's the best player on the team. Give her the ball. So all that makes a lot of sense. But the one thing I did want to touch on is, um, and I'm gonna get back to y'all. The one thing that I was thinking about when they were they kept showing Caitlin Carton people and I saw like people on like on Twitter and stuff like saying like oh why they keep showing the, what's the name you know and South Carolina just won. I think the I think you gotta realize like the magnitude of the sport that she the or the attention that she brought towards the sport, like every game that she played in was the most viewed game um ever. Like not just in, in any sport, not just in, in W like college college girls basketball. It was like NBA Finals, golf, like it was every, any sport, she, they had the most viewed, right? So it's like the LeBron effect, right? When That's when it's I time for LeBron to really hang up his hat, oh man, you can best believe if LeBron went, if LeBron goes to the championship and he loses the championship, and it's, if we know that's his last time like playing, they not gonna care. Who won the championship? They're going to focus on LeBron and LeBron yeah, only. Facts, mm-hmm. facts. That's okay, it, good bro. point, good point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's what, why yeah. I said, like, you got to think about it. Like, That's for... actually a good take, Jeff. That's actually a good take. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So when, you think about it from, when you think about it from college, women's college basketball, women's college basketball, she is the LeBron <laughs> of women's college basketball. So it's like, you got to put that spotlight on her, man. Yeah. Like, she, she, yeah. she's her. Yeah, you know, I'm, yeah, like she's I'm, doing what she do. I'm gonna chime in before I lose this thought. But remember what? Probably about five, six years ago, WNBA was kind of like I'm not gonna say going under, but it was kind of to a point where, like, it was fading away. You know what I mean? Like it was hard to get money for them to sign big contracts, and it just the views were stupid low, not make not generate no money. So it's really just more outcome than income. But now that you had what's the girl that went to uh, Iowa last year? Was it Sarah? Sarah Ion, uh, the other girl that got the shoes, Sabrina, sorry, Sabrina. Ionesco. Yeah. Okay. Sabrina yeah, we're, we're, Ionesco. She went to Iowa, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so her, 
Mm-hmm. Like, all these big names coming out. And I feel like Kalen Clark and uh, just the past two years in basketball with South Carolina, like, it just put a whole new spotlight on women's WNBA because they're, like, looking forward to these great women's basketball players in college to, to make it to that to that next step. And I feel like now yeah. one thing I pay attention to is that these games, like, it's fans there. You know what I mean? <laughs> the WNBA games, it's fans there now. At the college – Women's games, it's fans there. Like they selling out games. Like when when was that ever a thing in women's basketball? Like even when we used to go to Carolina games, we had some good players when we were there. But Great players. The, the stand still was kind of empty. No you know what I mean? Yeah, you know I mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I, just, I just give all those girls their flowers, man. South Carolina, <laughs> Iowa, UConn, uh, USC got some good players. It's a bunch of good good women's teams Juju. that that competed in hey, the uh, Juju up next bro if she yeah. stay yeah. did she yeah. stay or yeah. they competed in all that yep nah, she said stand, what she's staying she's staying she's staying she stand. I said uh, Juju Juju the yeah. truth yeah. Like you, Juju at USC y'all made, y'all made like, some, she like that yeah y'all made some good points man I think yeah Jeff I was gonna mention that about the Caitlin Clark kind of like LeBron scenario and yeah, we do want to make sure we celebrate Don Staley, man, because oh, you know three flowers, national flowers. championships is crazy. She, like, she the first, she the first black um, female coach to like to do that. I think, or maybe that. the first black coach in general. Yeah, to like ever yep. go like three championships, like hey, and let's college. not forget yeah, she just yeah, signed, yeah. she just signed that fat contract, twenty three million. Thing? I didn't hear about that. Twenty three million. Yeah, yeah. the first, yeah, the first yeah. to ever. That's what I'm saying. It. So the sport. Yeah, she deserved that. The sport is at a, it's at a good level. I think that yeah, LSU, South Carolina, you got uh, Paige Buchers even out of UConn. She cold too. Juju. Um, I think but overall, imagine, imagine the sport. Paige, imagine Paige and Caitlin Clark on the same team though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that would have been that would have been. Tough. been I, think, I think that like systems matter, but they also, do. but also it is. Just some people just got it. They just got it. And, you know, and, and it, it, like, I don't even know if you could say, like, if LeBron would have went somewhere, if he would have, I think he would have just figured it out. I don't out. think you can say that for LeBron, but, like, <clears> let's <throat> say, like, Carmelo. You can say for Carmelo, because we were talking about that earlier, yeah. LeBron or Carmelo, He right? should have went to the Pistons. Right. But he he should have went to the Pistons. I think he, we have a <laughs> way different team. talk about Carmelo. But how, the do team dictate, they had, how do you dictate where you go, though? Out of out of college. No, you're not dictating. It. It's just like they they passed up on them or like however it worked yeah, out. They like went for Darko Milicic. Like that. Like for Darko yeah. Milicic. Yeah. 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 So, so like, yeah, no, one thousand percent German. That, that's what I think about. Like you think about Carmelo when he was in Denver, his career. Like which career you think is better? You think about the Denver career or you think about the Knicks career? Right? Like Denver. I don't. So okay, if you say Denver, that means the system was different in, with the Knicks, right? Yeah. I don't know if we can say Denver. They gave his number to Jokic. I was saying that's what Germ said. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's what, I mean, that's what Keith said. I'm more so looking at, I think he went crazy with the Knicks. Because yeah, I was did. on the UK in 2011, 2012. Yeah. I was yeah. crazy with him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, hey, what, hey, what, hey, game, what game system? Not just, what game system? <laughs> PS2? PS3 at that time, I think. PS3. Oh, okay. PS3. So you have money. I'm to a brand, you had a, you had well, a you PS3. You playing NBA Live. <laughs> <laughs> NBA Live, I play with Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I think, but just to cap that off, though, I think that the sport is at a great level. You, y'all even saw Ice Cube offer, and they, he got a lot of backlash. He offered her five million to come and play in a big three. I think that and, our and women need to have that. Like, it's their time exposure. to have it. Yeah, yeah. Right now, even today, like, when we're recording, we're not even thinking about the guys about to play in about three hours. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not play. watching that game. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be there. Bro, why did you make it at nine, bro? And why is it you oh, calling man. for dude? Why is it you calling? <laughs> like, we're like, bro, we 30, bro. <laughs> Exactly, man. <laughs> hey, hey, I still feel like, like bro. Nah, not even. Hey, listen, they need to have that game on at six. six. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm nah, like, you crazy. know. So I think the game is at a good level. Hopefully, it'll continue to keep getting bigger for the WNBA. So that's why when we was talking about it's the money, Caitlin Clark, she draws in a lot of different people. Hopefully, she can continue to keep doing that. And then other people, too, will get that shine, even like Angel Reese. Angel Reese making a lot in college, you know. So, yeah, bro. Um, you know, and so with the NIL deals and everything, a lot of people getting their opportunities. So I think that it's a lot of 
it's a lot of good to just come from the sport. The fact that we are even talking about it is progress. So, yeah. So do y'all um, do y'all yeah, think these NLI shout out, shout deals out to everybody. are? Do y'all think these NLI deals are like like crippling people wanting to go to the league in certain I, sports? Yeah. You think N- so? NIL. NIL. Sorry. <laughs> I was, what I was is it, the NLI? <laughs> I was, hey Jeff, I swear I cannot. I get it wrong every time. Some days I say it right. Some days I say Listen. it wrong. But you, but you know, but you know, what I love about the NIL deals though, is like if you get if you get the right team behind you, you can really take advantage of that. I mean, like, oh my goodness, my biggest you? thing is, you know, well, you know, when we when we looking at we looking at Carter and Geo, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They gonna be camera ready. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we uh, laying the groundwork. We laying the groundwork. You feel me? You gotta lay the groundwork. And it's yeah. and, and you know what? I was talking to somebody and he's like, "Oh, you want your kid to play sports?" I'm like, he don't have a choice. He has to play sports. This not, and I, does he have to be good at sports? That's up to him. You know what I mean? Like, whatever he decides is what he decides. Whatever sport he wants to play, that's what he decides. But I will say this though: you play it, you're gonna be I feel great like at it. So, right. Well, I mean, that's up to him though. If he wants to work, he got to work. I can't work for yeah, him. He got to work. I already better. did my part. But listen, this is the thing I was gonna say. When when it comes to that stuff, bro, like sports has taught all of us so many things like for like life and everything else like there's just no way i can sit here and say i wouldn't i'm not gonna if my kids say you don't want to play sports you're not playing sports you playing sports you need to just pick yeah right? you need to do something even if you go yeah. out there and you stuck you're gonna go play yeah, right yeah. now yeah. now while i'll be funding the extracurriculars outside of that probably not but <laughs> no nah. but, 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 but you will play you'll be active you know what i'm saying like, yeah you, got yeah. Be active. Like, you learn so much from that so it's yeah. it's like you said. I think uh, Jeff, you might have mentioned. It. I know Jeremy alluded to it, but like even what Don, Coach Don said about them being in that position last year, you learn these life lessons through the through the game of you know whatever sport you're playing, and you learn it early on. Like you you learn obviously you know everything it takes to be successful, but you also understand what it feels like to lose, and then mm-hmm. to bounce back and what all the work you got to do to to get to that you know to that level. And a lot of times it just might be the time and place. It might just be. Yeah you know, the opportunity or whatever it might be. And everything that we learn, you know, us four, uh, that, that we've learned through playing sports, we're applying to, to today. Like, we want to be the best at, in whatever we're doing. Like, I want to be the best dad I can be. I want to be the best husband I can be. I take the losses that I might experience as a husband, and, I, you know, it beats me up inside. I'm like, dang, you know, you're right. I should have done that or I didn't do it. And now the next day I'm going to apply myself differently. I got to work at it. Everything, everything in life you got to work at. Unless you just want to be mediocre or average, then that's cool. But it's mm-hmm. you know that's the stuff that we learn in sports. So, uh, yeah. you know, am I gonna force Carter to play sports? I'm not gonna force him, but I'm going I'm definitely gonna make. It's gonna be the. Every, he's gonna see it. It's gonna be a part yeah. of his life. So he gonna want. You know when it, yeah, when it's, he gonna want to do it. Yeah, when it's part, when it's habit. You know when anything's a habit, then it becomes you know innate. It comes. It's a natural thing. And then mm-hmm. after time, you know. A, as you progress, you start to find a love for it and a passion for it. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't think we, we weren't born passionate about playing football. No, right? but, not at all. But we, we do it so often. We understand the like the reward that we get from it. Oh, man. And before you know it, it's just part of your life. It's a way of life. And, Stevie, like you said, I was more passionate towards playing basketball. That was my that was my thing, right? But not nah, what? I was on a state championship team. We went, come on, but don't try me like that. Uh, Y'all won a state championship? Now we lost against Reggie Bullock and his team. So you went on the state championship <laughs> team if you ain't win, bro. We went to state. We went to state. Hey, I get. I give you that. You said you was going on to state championship Going to state in basketball ain't like easy. Y'all went to so state. I give you going that. Going to state is legit. We yeah, went yeah. to state. You were more passionate about something. that, though. Huh? You said you were more passionate about. Yeah, that? early on, I didn't care. I didn't. I didn't care about football at all. Honestly, like mm. football was not my my. That, it wasn't my dream. I didn't. I didn't want to play football. I want to play basketball. And then this is what happened. I had my high school football coach come up to me and say, hey, man, you're 6'1". You don't play point guard. You're not even making it to the league. I'm like, you know what? You're right. I ain't. <laughs> right. So right. I focus on football. I focus on football, and I made it in football. It's, yeah. you know, but you need you need those type of people to give you, like, that yeah. that hard love and criticism. Like, yo, like, this, it is what it is. This is what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but what I was going to say, though, to Charles' point, though, is, like, I don't ever want to come off as, like, I'm forcing – my son or daughter, when I hope that I have a daughter or whatever, like I don't want to f- force them to do anything. But I just feel like in life in general, that's your first taste of competitiveness, right? Like yep. in, in like in anything. 
You're not going to be like, I'm going to compete against this person in school. You don't really care about school growing up like that. Like, you don't care about school until you get, like, high school. Uh, like, middle school, middle school, high school. Uh, like, I mean, like, you know about it, but, like, as a kid, you're not like, I want to learn all this stuff. Like, that ain't... No, nah, no, nah, I wanted to... I was, I wanted to I was competing in, 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 in elementary. elementary. In elementary. Yeah, in elementary. I was, I was trying to get all... I got all them awards. In elementary, kindergarten, <laughs> middle school, high school, school, everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Maybe cool. not you, but the rest of us. Well, no, no, no. I wanted to go on trip, so I made sure that I had, I read all the books, and then what I did is I flipped the books, right? And then when people wanted to go on the same swimming trip, I used to take the test for the people, and they used to pay me. I said, what do you want? You, you hey, get a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, ten dollars. always been trying to finesse If them. you want a hundred on the test, it's ten dollars. If you want an eighty, it's eight. And I did it correspondingly, bro. Whatever you need, I got it. I knew the answers. I can get some stuff wrong for you. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> See me? Hey, all, hey always, well, always been in the game with trying to get over. <laughs> hey, this is this is going this is going public, bro. People people are seeing public. you guys, like they know who you are, bro. I help people yeah. out. What you mean? I put them in a better Statue situation. Of going to coming back for that. That's all I did. I, I got a question for Germs. Yeah, coming back for that. So at the party, his brother was there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, hey, bro. Up until I met his brother, I always thought Jern was like the most athletic person in the family. I thought Jern, <laughs> I thought Jern was like was the, the hooper in the family. His brother he said, "Ain't no way." He didn't even claim Jern as a hooper. Uh, yeah, right. he did not say that. He did not say that. Don't play, don't play on my name like that. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. I said nah. we played with German. We saw. We saw. He said, "Yeah, he ain't me." That's what y'all ain't, y'all ain't play. Y'all ain't really play with me like that. Y'all play with me. Yeah, Jern, really, hey, Jern really need a little like more that. competitive than this. Yeah. yeah, give me, give me, give me like, give me like a month or two. I'm good. I'm good. And, and Charles, I don't think. Yeah, we didn't even play in in college. But <laughs> y'all don't play on my name like that, man. I'm, I'm like that. Hey, John he, is he a barely hooper, won King of Court. He hey, barely won King of Court. Don't talk to us. Talk yeah, to your brother. your brother for sure. Nah, Blood. man. No, hey, me and my brother. JT. My, JT. my brother and I, we had like we were, we were ask you know ask like we were really we were really good together. Like my brother, I said that, and I give it to him. My brother is the scorer out of the family. I'm the assist. I'm I'm the point. I'm the true quintessential the leader, point guard. The leader, Jerry, I, I had, the leader. I had 26. I had 26 assists in one game before. You know what I mean, JV? But you know that's crazy. That's <laughs> I, crazy. 26. That's crazy. 26. 26. Bro, no lie. Shoot the ball, bro. But I had that though. But that, I was I was really good. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm I'm a good like 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 point guard. I understand the game. I can see. I love people seeing different people's strengths and like bringing that out of. I like being on the underdog team. Like. That's me, me too. you know what I mean. Me too. So, me too. We hey man, don't be playing, don't be playing on my name like that, You like being on the underdog team so you can shine. That's why. I'm going to shine. I'm going to shine. I'm going to shine. That's why. That's why you like being on the underdog team. Charles, you too. My dog shine too. I'm hoping my dog shine too. Every time. Yeah. Y'all, y'all go. Well, y'all help me shine though. We playing a pickup game. Well, y'all help me shine. I'm not playing basketball with you. Maybe play defense. Yeah, that might but, be all we got out of you, man. Or something else, I, I, I claim you as a partner. But basketball, I'm not doing he, it, bro. What he play no, like, Pat Beverly? Pat Beverly? Yeah, I love <laughs> my underdogs. I love underdogs. Kwame you know? Brown. Uh, he, nah. he Kwame Brown? <laughs> yeah, Kwame, Kwame Brown, but he 5'8". You can't, you can't say he nobody in the league. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. We got to get some footage on that. Hey, no, no, yeah, real, quick, real quick, Jeremy. What's the age difference between you and your brother? We're 15 months apart. 15 months. Dang, I didn't know it was that close. Y'all close. Yep, yep, yep. That's yeah, that's real back close. Back. back so y'all back. went to y'all went to like how was that going to like middle school? I don't we went to right. every grade how, how together. How was that going to like middle school, high school, all that? I'm curious. Oh yeah, no, nah, that's great, man. It, it was the best time. Best time because since we're so close in age, you got uh, I'm able to see his mistakes. He's able to see my mistakes. You know, we got each other's back too. Um, throughout high school, everybody knew who we were together. You know, you see JT, you see Jeremy. Um, that was like that was that was that was really big. So me and my brother are like really close, man. That's that's my best friend, man. That's so uh, you know, he's uh he's gone through life uh before me and I've able I've been able to see things and then now I'm on a different level. Um and then, you know, he's been able to learn from those things too. Uh so yeah, man, I love it's good to have uh, your your brother or your sister like back to back like that. Um, yeah. You know, I guess it's a little bit different when you do have a gap because it may be, 
you know, your younger brother, your younger sister might not be able to say see the same things as you do. <laughs> you I, know? I'm a perfect example of that. My, you know what so, I mean? Yeah. So both so. both my brother and sister, we all are four years apart. So we we miss mm -hmm. each section mm -hmm. together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, and yeah, then, and yeah. then it's a, I'm eight. Well, I guess yeah, eight years apart from my sister. Oh yeah. So when yeah. you see that, it's like. Our conversations are like completely different because of where we're currently at and then where mm -hmm. she's currently at it's like i mean i talk to you as much because i don't want to hear about that because i'm not on that you know what i mean like it's a different, <laughs> yeah. yeah you know yeah so that's something and I'm, you that's something. and you can see i guess you can see it's kind of like that's why i kind of wanted to have like younger younger and that's why i mentor mentor people a lot you know because you can see you can give your perspective of like what you would have done in those times to like get yourself right. ahead. And so anybody that's out there younger or older, what not the people are giving you advice or knowledge, being able to give that information to them and then to actually apply it and then see them at a better spot. It's like, you know, and then when you see it happen, it's like, man, yeah. that's the best, that's the yeah. best feeling in the world. Facts. It's bro, Facts. That, it, that all that, what you just said just happened, bro. Like literally yeah. I was on my sister about doing, and you know this, I was on my sister about like, yo, you need to do this, 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 this. So she went to mm -hmm. Carolina as well. And I'm like, listen, you gotta do this. You're a regular student, so you have more time. Like do what you need to do, take her business, don't mess around. And then she just got a big, big, big time job offer where She's blowing my numbers out of the water. She's blowing our family's numbers out of the water. And it's amazing to see because it's like, okay, you listened enough to get yeah. to where you are. Hey, shout now out to Jaleel, man. man. That's big, bro. Yeah, That's shout big. out to Jaleel. That's big, man. But it's That's like, big. now you got to teach yeah. me something. You know what I'm saying? Because now yeah. I want to learn from, you know, I'm only getting older. And I don't want to be that old guy that's like, I ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I want to continue <laughs> to evolve in this generation and the next. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's my biggest thing is, like, I told her, I'm like, I've taught you for so, like, I've taught you everything I can probably tell you that I know, mm -hmm. but I want you mm -hmm. to teach me now as you go through life and what you see and how you rocking and because I'm a fall out of it, right? Like, we, it was happening. We see it. Like, I don't, I'm not up to date like I was, yeah. you know, 10 years ago, you know, when I was 20, 23, whatever the case may be. So it's like, that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's been something that I've been battling with, but it's cool to see. That yeah, bro. That's, I do dope. Have, that's dope. That's dope. I do have a gap, like you were just saying, Jerm. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real life lessons. Love it. Yes, sir. Man. All right, hit us. What, what's Ooh. the quote, man? What's the quote of the day? Man, the quote for the day. Man, we, we love to leave y'all with some words of encouragement, um, things that you can take with you for the week. Uh, for the, it's your for big the month, 30, for man. the year. What, what, what are we talking about? The big, the big three. 30, man. Oh. Hey, I got, hey, I got, I just got, I got one uh, that we pulled. Um, and I'm gonna give y'all that one, but um, from the great Steve Jobs, man, mm -hmm. the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If mm. you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Mm. So I take from that just making sure that you really love uh, and enjoy the process of the things that you're involved in, whether that's work, um, you know, whether that's you know something that you're doing outside of work. Find something that you can love. Find something that you really care about that's going to get you up in the morning because that's what's going to keep you keep you going man because it's, it's so many things that we just do mundanely that we don't care about or that that we just hate yeah. you might hate going to work but you know try to figure out some lane or avenue maybe you got a gift you got something that you um have been blessed with in this world and and look to hone in and to love that and um that's what it's all about i think for me it's just loving to see other people do great and hey, uh, sick, and that's um sick. and that's and that's for me, man. So I, I'm loving that and, and loving to help myself to grow and helping other people's grow. And um, yeah, man, that's what life is all about. Yep. For Real sure. jams coming from your boy Jerm Hustle, man. Hey, sure. as, we close, as we close out, CB, I love all the diplomas I see back there, my boy. Yes, sir. Big dog. Hey, you got you to see like My man credential. He credential. It's the humble. It's the humble brag, man. <laughs> yeah. That boy's smart, smart. I'm only yeah, responsible man. for one of them, but you know. <laughs> hey, hey, they all look who good. Would know, who they would know that? Who yeah, would know? Who, who, who would know, know that? Know? You just told me yourself, but who would know? No, nah, I got I got two degrees from Carolina, man. Two, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, hey, that's real. Yeah, I have my bachelor's economics, mm -hmm. communication studies, man. You ain't going to speak on it too much. But Light work. Light genius. Two of these belong to India, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> she got hey, her. She's 
She's smart. Hey, that girl's smart. You know what I'm saying? She's smart. She's real smart. smart. Real smart. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it's it's all a blessing, man. You know, it's all about where you at in the moment. Are you taking advantage of it? And, uh, you know, being grateful. Real quick, real quick. Jerm, what's your background say? We can't really read it, but I just want to see that before we close out. What's that say? I can't really see it. No, nah, I mean I can see oh, yeah. I can see the picture. I see the picture. No, no, let, me see the, let me see the do rag. Let me see the back of the do rag first. <laughs> hey man, y'all gonna see all that, man. But, but what's, the word, what's the word say on the germ? The, Not my the words space. on there is is my space, man. We taking it taking it back. Germ wow. hustle. You know, I reside in Greensboro, North Carolina. You know, I got about three thousand friends on there. <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all for that bringing guy. in the big thirty with your boy. Swagged out from the nine nines to the two thousands. You dig? Hey, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, and, and, sir, and, and, and Keidra got the Keidra got the infamous, the nice senior day jersey hanging up back there. I see you know it. nineteen, you know it. big nineteen, man, big nineteen. Good days, good <laughs> glory days, the glory <laughs> days, man. Hey, hey who up? Hey, hey, who up? You hang that? My boy Peanut. Hey, hey, we just want to take the time to thank everybody for tapping in, man. This has been a, a honor, a pleasure, like just a good feeling, man, being able to just continue to uh, tune in with you guys and, and share how we feeling, what our emotions are, what's going on in our lives. And man, we hope that this is a positive, uh, positive movement for you guys as you uh, tune in and watch. So shout out to my boys hey i wouldn't want to do this with nobody else for real for sure yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. hey man we're gonna see y'all on the next one yes uh, sir shoot, we had a whole lot more to catch up on so we we got a lot to got a lot to tap man. a lot to tap yeah, in y'all off man <laughs> yeah yeah i'm a little hey, i'm a little man, heavy i'm, wet, I'm, wet, I know I'm a little heavy <laughs> i'm sweating up underneath this do-rag for sure <laughs> hey oh also shout out to those that commented, man, Randy Smith, Rodney yeah, Washington, Randy, Jason Harker. Randy. Yeah, we had to give y'all government out there. <laughs> hey, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for uh, commenting. Y'all leave comments down below. Uh, make sure that uh, y'all y'all show us some love. Tell us what you got going on. And um, yeah, man. Hey, this this is a classic. I love it. <laughs> All right. Hey, oh my God. Yes, hey, on to many more, man. We'll get it going. Hey, I think. We definitely got to do an episode in Vegas when we heading up to Vegas. We got to, yeah, hey, we, we all, y'all stay tuned. We back to, the band's about to get in Vegas in, in, in late July. Let's make yes, that sir. happen. Hey, y'all stay details. tuned. Y'all stay tuned. Hey, bro. Literally.